The Supreme Court hears arguments tomorrow in a case that examines free speech claims in the age of Facebook and Twitter. Among the issues are postings, public or private forms of expression. Here's Juliana Goldman. After his wife left him and took their two children, Pennsylvania resident Anthony Alonis turned to Facebook. He says he was venting when he posted a series of violent, curse-laden threats, some of them rap lyrics, against his co-workers and wife. After the post prompted a visit from the FBI, he lashed out at law enforcement too. Little agent lady stood so close, he wrote, pull my knife, flick my wrist, and slit her throat. Alonis says he wasn't serious, even using the occasional emoticon to make that clear. But a federal jury found otherwise, sentencing him to almost four years. Now the Supreme Court will take its first look at the limits of free speech on social media and decide if such posts are constitutionally protected under the First Amendment or if they rise to the level of a true threat, which is illegal. The court has never given a clear answer as to what constitutes a true threat. In 1969, it ruled in favor of a war protester who made sarcastic threats against President Johnson at a rally. And in 2003, the court ruled that cross-burning is not in itself a true threat, saying malicious intent has to be proven in order to make it a crime. John Elwood is the attorney representing Alonis. If you know that the person you're talking about is going to be placed in fear, at that point it becomes criminal. The key is whether he knew that they were th uh, frightening and said them anyway. But Joan Meyer, a domestic violence advocate, says no matter the intent behind the postings, the impact is the same. Threats are not merely words, and it's not true that sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Threats like that are terrorizing. The case also has the intensely private Supreme Court justices examining a social media platform with which they're probably not very familiar. Jeff, in his brief, Solicitor General Don Verrilli offered an explanation of the definition of Facebook friends. Juliana Goldman, thank you very much.